Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at the universal wave equation. This picture here just shows the formula and what all of these things represent. So we have a few learning goals today. You should be able to calculate the wavelength of light when given the frequency. You should be able to calculate the frequency of light when given the wavelength. And you should be able to describe the relationship between frequency and wavelength. So here's our formula, V equals F times lambda. That funny little symbol that looks like an upside down Y is called lambda. So V represents the speed, F represents the frequency, and lambda represents the wavelength. So now you know which numbers to put into which space in the formula. So let's take a look at an example here. We have a light wave has a frequency of 430 times 12, 10 to the 12 hertz. The speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. What is the wavelength of light? So we're going to use the GRASS method in order to answer this question. You may have learned the GUESS method in one of your other classes. That uses basically the same steps, it just has different letters to represent those steps. So G is going to represent the givens. So here, what is given? We know the frequency is 430 times 10 to the 12 hertz. So we can write that. And we know that the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we can put the speed, and I should put here, this is frequency. Um, the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we want to know what the wavelength is. So R stands for required. What do we need to know? Well, the wavelength equals question mark. A stands for analysis. So this is where we write our formula in here. So we have V equals F lambda. Now we want to solve for lambda, so we need to rearrange the equation. I'm not going to go through the steps of rearranging the equation. If you're having trouble rearranging equations, if you didn't learn that in math or you struggle with that in math, please ask me in class and we'll have some time to go over those steps. But our answer here is going to be lambda equals V over F. So that will be the formula that we're going to use. S is stands for substitution. So we're going to substitute, or could stand for solve. We're going to substitute the values in and solve for that answer. So lambda equals, and we know that the speed is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over frequency, which was 430 times 10 to the 12 hertz. And if we do that math, we'll end up with 6.98 times 10 to the minus 7 is equal to lambda. And then the last S stands for a sentence. So the wavelength is 6.98 times 10 to the minus 7, and sorry I forgot my units up there, meters. So make sure you're including your units in all the steps. Up here I included meters per second and hertz, and I should have included right away in my answer the units of meters, and I have my meters down here also in the sentence. So let's take another look, this time calculating frequency. A light wave has a wavelength of 546 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. The speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. What is the frequency of light? So we're given wavelength here. We're given speed of light. And we need to calculate frequency. So for our givens, we're given the wavelength is 546 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. We have the speed, 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. R for required, so what's required? We need to know the frequency. Analysis, we're going to use our equation. So V equals 
F lambda. And again, I'm not going to go through the steps of rearranging the equation, but our rearranged equation is going to be F equals V over lambda. So now we get into the st solving step. So if we solve, we're going to end up with frequency equals V is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over lambda, which is 546 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. And if we do that math, we're going to end up with 5.49 times 10 to the 14 and that answer is going to be in the units hertz. So our sentence would be the frequency is 5.49 times 10 to the 14 hertz. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to calculate the wavelength of light when given the frequency should be able to calculate the frequency when given the wavelength, and you should understand the relationship between frequency and wavelength. And we'll be doing an activity of that in class to help you solidify your understanding. So if you understand all of these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.